hello hello how's everybody doing today well I went to my little brother's got got to pick the horse trailer up and uh, brought it home over here where I can get started on it I'm going I'm fixing to show y'all but it's got a little living quarter type not really living quarters but uh, I guess a dress changing room tack room area and uh i'm thinking of closing that in and letting the animals be in there have more hauling space because let me flip y'all around this door is missing and it's supposed to be like a camper style door well they want five hundred dollars just for that door five hundred dollars and I just do not see that. And I don't need living uh, changing room or anything anyway. So, these are my thoughts. And if y'all have any opinions, leave them down in the comments. I can build an escape door slash gate style door for here. Where you can come through if you're loading something and come out this way. Which is kind of what that little door is right there. But anyway, take all this out, that center section, and open it up to up here. Take that table out, take the air, that AC out, seal that off. And then that'll add, that'll double the space. Over double. And then up here, this area is 6.5. So pull this paneling they got up all out. And then I was going to build a little gate system across here. That way, like if I wanted to put some cages up there with quail to haul, if I had to transport them or whatever the case may be, or rabbits or feed or hay, I could put it up there. There will be two little doors here that close where if the goats and stuff are moving in here, they can't just jump up there and start eating it or tearing stuff up. It would be separated. So, I do know all this has to be tore out and cleaned up. This table thing that they got coming out. These racks. I know it needs all, all new lights. I'm thinking some of the floor underneath this linoleum is probably going to be bad. It looks bad there. So, get all this ripped out. And anything that's not I'm not gonna need deleted and then on this wall when it comes out I do want to put the uh, cross gate that goes divides the trailer in half that way if I have to separate anything that'll be there and I think that would work a lot better for me and my needs than having this little tack room because we don't have horses and i've already did horses years ago and i do not want any more horses they cost a fortune to feed unless you're using them they cost a fortune to feed i mean they cost a fortune regardless whether you're using them or not but if you're actually working them then it makes you know then they're serving a purpose but if you just got them as a pet I'm not, we're not doing that. I mean, it's an older trailer, but it, it ain't bad. It's got good bones. Once that paneling's out, I'm gonna try to pop that little dent out right there a little bit. And I got the tires off the camper to put on here. Those ain't on there yet. I'm gonna order all new LED lights, change out these these old lights they got up there. Missing, I don't know where you get this really. It's kind of just like flat aluminum, feels like. I'm missing a, couple, a piece there and I think a little piece up top. Get some of those. The windows are all intact and good so this little window here probably gonna take it out 
weld a piece of metal over it. Don't need it. And it's one of them, I don't know what they call them, but they, some usually like to leak. I don't know if that one does, but I don't need no goat putting his hooves up there or something standing up and knock the glass out. It's got these doors on each side. That's where that hay bin is. We ain't gonna need that if it comes out. And then this door has a little bit of damage at the bottom. Try to fix that. And then up here, they had doors right here. We're gonna build some, put those back where no goats can jump out. I wish it had the slider, the gate. Sure, wish I could find a horse trailer maybe wrecked or rusted out. I could get that off of. I'm not sure how they uh, put them together or I'd try to build it. Show would be nice. On these old lights, we're gonna replace them with LEDs. In here looks pretty good. Take all that center out. Got some vents on top. Right there, you open and close them. Then, let me get up here. And then I gotta replace these three lights, marker lights. But there's the two vents, they're covered up. Paint, paint them probably. Clean them up. The top's a little rusty, I'm gonna paint it. Really need to paint the whole trailer, but man. It's a lot, a lot of work sanding paint so I don't know if I'm gonna paint the whole thing or not it could probably look a lot better I mean I know it I know it would but this ain't no little it ain't too little it's about 20 foot long and I don't know any sand blasters or that would be the easiest route then I'd have need to pull all the trim and uh, yeah I don't need to put that I'm not trying to restore it I'm just trying to get it where it's nice enough to use and uh, road worthy and safe and like you know what I mean so anyway we got we got a lot of work to do but I thought I'd share that with y'all I went and got me a haircut and shave today. It's getting hot. Be cold one day, hot than A the next. So, anyway, I'm going to quit rambling on, wasting people's time. I'm, uh, guess I'm going to get started on this probably tomorrow, maybe today, I don't know. Kind of itching to do it least start tearing stuff out of it getting it getting it tore down to where I can start going back with it the sooner the better thinking about purchasing some more goats and if anybody out there has got any let me know what you got I'm really interested in the meat goat side of course not too fond of boar unless they just got some really good genes but uh Kiko and I, they don't have to be papered goats. But Kiko, Savannah, I'd really like to get a Savannah, a Kalahari Red, or uh, the Tex Masters. But if anybody's got any, let me know. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. But if I do do something to this, I will add it to this video. So, stay tuned. We're going to get started. I got one rack off. Get some of this out.
It did have it insulated though. Sorry for the dog barking in the background. That's a neighbor's dog. Crank windows don't work. carpet there. We don't need that. Extension cord. I don't know, I'm guessing since I couldn't get since I couldn't get the paneling, they used this shag style carpet and glued it or maybe it's stuff up here in the corner. stinks. Terrible. Oh man. That was a lizard. I didn't know what that was. Touched my hand. <laughs> does stink in here. Man. Woo. Get something. Get all that out. Should have.
Watch out, little lizard. I don't want you to get hurt. get my gloves and get all that insulation out I don't really want to touch it too much with the uh, it was hot in here like a little sweat box in here anyway yeah, I don't want to get all itchy like that, so I'll get my gloves and pull all that out. I got to get the rest of this boards out. Anything rotted's coming out, and then we'll go back with some new. I had to buy some treated plywood, I guess. I'm guessing they use treated in here. I, I don't know if it need to be treated or not. Probably wouldn't hurt. And uh, yesterday, I was talking to some buddies of mine. They were over here checking the trailer out. I don't know, the wind might mess up. Y'all might hear nothing but wind out there. But uh, I'm thinking the line, the roof line up, I may do, which would be like from here on the outside, all the roof. I may end up doing that in like a bed liner. I haven't decided yet. Everybody keeps telling me to paint the trailer, but I don't know if I'm gonna paint it or not. I know it would look way better if it was painted, but I'm, I'm going for functionality more than just dumping money in it and time. I mean, I got plenty to do. I don't, I'm, I'm not lacking things of things to do, but when you start, yeah, it's mostly labor, but if I start sanding and painting, I'm gonna have to buy sandpaper, flap disc, primer, paint. It's gonna take a lot longer to do. So, all that adds up. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not. But we'll see. I just at least wanted to get this all tore out. Get my razor knife and get this linoleum out so I can see what kind of condition the floor is going to be in. Definitely got my work cut out for me. But it's going to work for what we want it to. And I will keep y'all posted on the progress of it as I get it done. Just that little, I already got a pile going. So, anyway, I will guess I'm gonna go ahead and put this video out and then once we start really getting into it and going back with new stuff and doing things or cutting this wall out and then I will uh, have another video on it hopefully it shouldn't be but one or two videos and we'll have it done if all goes well 
But I thank y'all for stopping in. I thank y'all for watching all the support. Please like, share, and subscribe. And that's the biggest thing you can really do. Subscribe and share the videos. Like them. Any comments, feel free. Any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And uh, I try to answer every one that I can get to. Thank y'all, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.